This video is a detailed uh, application and uh, instruction manual for PH, uh, PHT 6000 series hardness tester from Phase 2 Plus. And uh, here is the product. This is the box of the product. Very <coughs> fit and uh, strong box. We're getting it out. And uh, okay, let's open it from this side. Here, open the box, you will see some uh, papers here. And one is an uh, important notice for some warnings of using, uh, properly using the probe. And uh, here is the instruction manual uh, and uh, a quick set guide is here. Like we'll see. And you can see the technique support uh, telephone. Please feel free to con contact with this if you have any problem. <clears throat> and uh, okay, let's start with uh, this product. Uh, basically, you get uh, several parts of this product. And this is the main machine of the product. And here is the uh, cable linking the machine and uh, the probe. And this one is the probe. In this case, we're using 6005, which uh, has uh, five kilograms loading force as our example. <clears throat> and uh, this one is a uh, charging cable. And also it uh, has a, piece, a USB cable, which you can use for linking it to a computer to transport your data from the machine to a PC. And uh, here is a test block. It has a standard hardness there, so we can calibrate our new product and here is the disk. This disk allows you to uh, utilize the software on your PC in order to transport your data from the machine to your PC. Okay. Okay, now this machine is uh, completely linked with all the cables. And we can see here is, uh, here is the cable for the charger. And uh, this machine uses lithium battery, which allows you to charge it. and. Uh, uh, and use it without the cable. And also here is the probe cable, this this one. And uh, it has two ends. One end looks like this, and this one is supposed to be linked to the probe. And another side is on the machine. And if the probe is not correctly linked, uh, we can see on the machine here, probe type, it will show a narrow. And uh, here we can see it's uh, HP 50 Newton, right? So it's it's correctly connected, and uh, and uh, uh, following we are going to set up the calibration for the machine. Okay, now we are on the main uh, main surface of this machine. So if we uh, before we start, we got set up something. So we press manual here. And we can see the following options here, and we choose test setup. See your cursor is uh, on the test setup here, and press enter here. So we got uh, some uh, other options here. Uh, the main things we are going to focus on, one is the test number. Uh, test number means how many times you want to test to get an average for the hardness you want. So it basically uh, depends on yourself. So here we set it as three. That means we test three times and get an average to decide what the number we want for the hardness. Okay, if you are sure for it, press enter again. Um, again, if you want to test more, it has a threshold at five times. At most you can test five times and now we're using three times. And also another thing is uh, test duration. <clears throat> Press enter to get test duration. That means how uh, how long you want to hold your prop on the test thing. So basically it depends on the loading force. Um, in our case, we're using a 50 Newton loading force here. So probably we only need one to three seconds but if your loading force increased to more than 10 kilograms, 
so you may need three to five seconds to get an accurate result. All right, here we have set up everything now and press enter if you confirm this number is what you want. And uh, if we want to go, to, to go back to the main surface, press menu and press menu again. Okay, now we can start to test it. We're now going to test uh, our machine on the test block. And as a standard test block, the hardness of this block shows on it as 62.4 HRC. So uh, we're going to see whether it works. And uh, firstly, put your prop into your face and hold it tightly. And uh, remember to not jam it on the surface of the block. It will damage the demo. So what we do is just hold it tightly and uh, slightly put it on the surface. And then when you want to do the test, please push it down firmly. Okay, we got three times to do the test. So here is the first time. Right, two times to go. All right, now on the machine, we can see the max and mean and the average here. The average is 63.2, which is uh, 0 0.8, a little bit higher than the, <clears throat> than the blocks, standard hardness. That's an acceptable result. And uh, here, as you use the block, uh, it leaves uh, something on it, but don't worry about it. It's big enough for you to test. Okay, next we're going to test two lead tools, uh, sorry, cutting tools, um, for, for, the, uh, for the further using of uh, this hardness test. So uh, the first one we're going to test is uh, a lead tool holder and uh, yeah here is the one so we're going to test it on the shank right it reads 42 in first time and second time 43.2 and 44.2, so the average is 43. Um, yeah, and uh, I think this test pretty much is success. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to change to another thing. That is uh, our cobalt rough end mill. Uh, we're going to test the shank here. So here is a product. All right, because it's, uh, it's a wrong thing, so we're going to find some plate surface here. All right, that's first reading. Second one comes out. Okay, so now we got the average here as uh, almost 51 HRC. So that's pretty much how it uses, and uh, depends on your personal, uh, your personal habit. Uh, you can set up different things in the menu. We'll cover it in later. Okay, now we're looking at the main menu here, and uh, <clears throat> here are the parameters uh, you're going to use to set up it as uh, you want, and uh, we're going to cover uh, some of them, not all of them. Sorry. Uh, here is a test setup. Uh, you can set up your hardness scale, which uh, allows you to choose different intervals of hardness and also different uh, units here. And uh, here is a test number we have covered. So, and this is a tolerance. Uh, that is how accurate you want your hardness tester to set. Uh, in our case, we set to up and down. Uh, like plus and minus one, including this interval that's an accurate result here. So you can set what you want here. And also batch mode. Uh, sorry, wait. Batch mode allows you to see 
whether you want the average number or not, or the minimum or the maximum number you want. Uh, we get it off. If you get it on, that means you don't need to test as many times as you want to get an average. Okay, so here is the test duration we have covered above. A standard here, uh, we typically were using American standard, and here also other options here uh, for German and uh, another one. Okay, so uh, another thing we are going to cover is the system setup. Be careful with this one, because uh, uh, especially for the language. Uh, you don't want to change a language you don't know it, right? <clears throat> and uh, system reset, it uh, requires a passcode, shows on your instruction manual, and the information allows you to see some basic information of the machine. And also you can adjust your battery, backlight, and sound, what well, turn on or turn off the sound, and uh, your data and time here, okay? So the memory setup here is uh, something <clears throat> very important because you want to read your data to the PC to save it and uh, you must use this function data send you can choose it on or off if you choose it off the data will be saved in the machine and uh, it allows it allows mostly uh, it allows most 2000 groups of data so after that the data will be automatically deleted and uh, if you choose on, your data will be transferred to your computer if you are linked it. So here you can delete the groups you don't want and also you can choose to delete them all. <coughs> and uh, let's go back. Here is a data op output. Okay, looking at here, we have Bluetooth or USB output here. And uh, the thing is we currently uh, do not have the Bluetooth function on. But in the future, there will be a free update for the Bluetooth. So don't worry about it. We definitely will have it in the future. And uh, well, here, print selection. Uh, that means you want to print the select one you want. To select one, please see the check mark uh, here and uh, press enter. If you see the check mark is red, that means you have selected it. And you can select multi uh, groups to print them. And after you move to another one, the selected one will have a gray check mark. Okay, let's go back. Or you can select, uh, you can choose to print them all. And here is a calibration. Uh, for calibration, there is a certificate certified by Phase Two Plus, and uh, it comes out with your instruction manual. Here is it. Okay, it shows in our case this uh, machine is uh, calibrated uh, at uh, February 20th, 23rd, 2018 and, uh, and uh, in accordance with ASTM A1038-13 and uh, ASTM A956 M. 17 which shows here yeah we can see as here okay so uh, that's what the uh, factory set up for us but you want to do your calibration yourself please see another quick guide here this one and on this one you get a basic side of uh, how to calibrate it by using your test block and also in the instruction manual, there is a more detailed way to set up your calibration. Okay, let's look at it. Firstly, you need to choose your material, UCI, uh, which depends on the test, the test block you want to use. And also, uh, you can set a new calibration. You can name it yourself as you want. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's an easy way for you to personalize your machine, and also <clears throat> this one. This one depends on different uh, factors, so probably will not cover it today. And another thing here, prop selection. This machine offers different 
uh, props. So we're using what we're using here as six thousand five, which allows uh, uh, which uses fifty newton loading force, <clears throat> and also we got different things according to the instruction manual here. We can see it. Uh, this one also compatible with uh, PHT six thousand one, two and ten, and also some other motorized prop. Uh, what we have covered are only handheld ones. All right, for the technical support of this product, please go to face2plus.com website here, or you can call the uh, technical support number showed um, previously. And uh, here you can see many detailed information on the website, just like uh, different types of UCI portable hardness testers and uh, different options of props like what we covered above are only manual props and here you have options of motorized props uh, which allows higher loading force and uh, also you get uh, some insights of uh, leap props so depends on your uh, want or not and uh, at the bottom, also you can get some inside of the different test blocks. Uh, depend on the purpose you're using the hardness tester, you can choose different uh, types of blocks here. And uh, uh, this, this pretty much you can find uh, more information than this video on this website. And uh, for more product uh, uh, information, please go to IQSizeTools.com. And on the upper right corner, you can search for whatever you want. For example, in our case, we're using PHT-65, sorry, 6005. At the first one, that's, that's the product we're covering today. So click it. You can see many detailed information. And also you can complete your purchase on this website. Thank you.